Today was the day they tamed the beast. Members of West Point's class of 2014 ended their six weeks of rigorous cadet basic training known as Beast Barracks with a march back from Camp Buckner to West Point. The march with full pack covered 12 miles. At mile 10, the new cadets could take a break, get rehydrated, and take care of those foot issues. More than 1,300 young men and women survived the beast and felt good about meeting the challenge. Like I can honestly say this is one of the hardest things I've done in my life. Yeah, there were days that you just didn't think you could go on, but you know, I always just thought that if I quit, there's, I'm just going to let myself down and let all the other all people who are rooting for me down. So just that was what helped me push. And the Beast Barracks survivors made it clear they couldn't have made it by going it alone. You can't do it by yourself. Like, it's, you, need, you need help. Like, the support here is great. We work as a team. Like, you're only as strong as your weakest person. One of the upperclassmen who helped turn the recent high school graduates into soldiers says there's a quality they have that others don't. Determination is the main one that uh, speaks to me. If you put your mind to something, you can always see it through. And all of these, all these new cadets, soon to be cadets, have determination in spades. Not all the marchers were members of the new cadet class. 73-year-old Joel Sugdinis, a member of West Point class of 1950, has marched in the march back for seven of the past eight years. He says he enjoys connecting with the future members of the Long Gray Line, and he likes what he sees in this new class. And I know this is not just the upperclassmen helping the new cadets, it's new cadets helping new cadets. And I think that's marvelous. I think these guys are on the right road. I think our country is in very good hands. The march back finish line runs through the academy and past the superintendent's home. Parents lined the route, including Jennifer Kinnis of Stuttgart, Germany. She was there to catch a glimpse of her son Grant, and she couldn't hide her pride. I'm feeling super proud, but you know, no prouder than all these other moms and dads. We're very excited. The new cadets will be officially accepted into the Corps of Cadets during an acceptance parade this Saturday. Then, the four-year march to graduation gets underway. At West Point, Tracy Baxter, Record Online.